Hello, Reality. Good morning, and welcome to Touch Points today. My name is God Gift Austin, a regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do, to pick our topics, we deliberate on the scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of process and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart, and some less qualified answers have been tackled. I have no doubt the Lord has taken care of your concern in this ministry. Just follow us on our social media handles and watch the videos that were uploaded, over 500 of them. Before you finish, you discover how much the Lord has dealt with your concerns. We urge you to use the comment sessions for your testimonies as well as help us share this message. Just let them go viral. The light has no need on that they can show. As you do so, the Lord will bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the mercy of our lives. We thank you for yesterday, to them forevermore. We thank you for the things that you have been doing so much for We ask, oh Lord, that you will, you will impart us this morning once again like never before. Take all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Beloved, we took our time talking about angels, and we ended that on Saturday. This morning, we want to begin with a new topic entirely, which is anger. And as you listen, may you be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Anger is a fire that burns and consumes. Smoldering, flaming at times, white hot anger is passion. So, anger is passion. Of all emotions, it may well be the most passionate, but it has the power to fuel hatred as a smother love. Anger itself is not necessarily bad, it is not necessarily wrong. God himself gets angry. What we need to consider is the object of our anger. <coughs> the motive of our anger and the outcome of our anger. Anger that is self-righteous protects our pride. Is self-centered or demands its own way is dangerous. Alright, if allowed to continue unchecked, it will consume us. This kind of anger seeks to harm and revenge. It seeks to destroy, thus it can lead to bitterness and hatred. Emotions that can cause violent behavior and arbitrate compassion and forgiveness. So, God's anger, however, is directed against sin and unrighteousness. Alright, so he blazes hot against evil. His anger, like ours, becomes a consuming fire. But if it focus is to eradicate the sin so that the sinner can be restored. Our anger often consumes others and even ourselves. God's anger burns against evil and becomes a cleansing fire. The fire of our anger may aggravate our sinfulness and self-righteousness. His anger burns away sinfulness and allows the good to emerge and make us fit for the master's use. Beloved, the first question that we are going to be delivering on is why do we usually get angry? If I ask you, why do you usually get angry? In, son, in Numbers chapter 22, verse 29, the Bible said, you, may, you have made me look like a fool, Balaam shouted. In other words, we get angry when our pride is hot. We'll stop here, and the next time we'll need to continue from this very questions. But now I want to give opportunity to those who want to confess Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. I say, Lord, come into my life this morning. Wash me by your blood. I write my name in the book of life and delete it from the book of death. Satan will draw your feelings from my life if you didn't make me and will not give me life. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to say congratulations if you have prayed this prayer with me this morning. And I want to encourage you to keep fellowship with us. You can never get it wrong in the right time with us. The Lord will bless us to do so. I pray for you that this is your new season of increase. As we come or conclusively we will see come to the end of this month and we are entering a new month, the Lord will open a new chapter for you. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.